2013 Dodge Durango. I came in here for a check engine light with a code. Uh, this code here, you can see, P0522 engine oil pressure sensor circuit low. Okay, so the customer has already replaced the sensor. Well, actually, he replaced the whole oil filter housing with which it comes with this sensor and he installed it or he had someone to install this part but it's still uh in order to rip you know, in order to fix that code he had someone to replace uh, the whole housing with the sensors so it apparently is still doing the same thing so it didn't fix the code uh, and the first thing I noticed is this here. You can see that oil pressure is 96. Right, the car is off. The uh, engine's not running, but it's still reading. i uh, reading uh, 96 psi. Uh, I got the scan tool hooked up, and you can see that it's also reading. Um, 99 psi here, so it's reading that has some pressure. Uh, the oil pressure voltage is at four and a half volts. Uh, so right there, I think it's something wrong with the with the, some some electrical connection wires sensor. Even though the sensor is brand new, it sits right there in the valley. Um, so the next thing I did is, as you can see, I removed the intake to get to the sensor and make some measurements there. Hey, let me show you that. Okay, with the sensor disconnected, uh, I did some checks on the terminals. And uh, right now I am front probing the terminal 2, which is the pressure return, signal return. Not signal return, but the signal. Uh, to the computer and you can see it has 4.8 volts so that tells me that uh, like some kind of bias voltage kind of like a quick check that the computer does um, right so here's number one is the uh, 5 volt reference which is here in front this one here is number one Slightly probing it in front. Okay. And it shows to be by 4.9 volts, so basically 5 volts. So my 5 volt reference good. Uh, the second one here is, I'm gonna call that good because it's a bias voltage, kind of like a check. It's doing like a circuit check. So I want to see that. Uh, you would want to see a voltage um, uh, there. With the sensor disconnected, the it shows um, five volts instead of you know four and a half. It was showing. So that's a quick check there. The ground is good. Basically, I found. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna ground the signal to ground and uh, this right here should go to zero volts. For that. Okay, I have uh, grounded the pressure signal to the ground, and now I'm reading in the scanner zero volts. Right. So that kind of basically confirms my wiring from the sensor connector to the computer that there is no breaks in the wiring or resistance. Well, basically breaks uh, like open wires. So at this point, I called I called a bad sensor, and let me show you what it does with the new sensor.
Okay. I'll show you one more time what it looks, what the scan two, scan two shows with the VAT sensor. You can see it's connected, the bottom one there. And this is what the scan two reads. All the pressure of voltage is four and a half. The VVT oil pressure is 99 PSI. Also the oil pressure is 99 PSI. So let me plug in a the new one here. Let's see, I'm just gonna plug it in. I'm not, I'm not even gonna install it right now. I just wanna see a change in the scan tool. Okay, new new sensor plugged in. You see it's not just plugged in, just laying on top of here. Alright, it's a new sensor. And now you can see the readings here. Uh, this is more like it. See the oil pressure sensor voltage is 0.39. Oil pressure, VVT oil pressure is zero. Oil pressure is zero, so that looks more like it. Turn off the airbag on these rovers. Now the display out here on the uh, cluster shows zero, zero PSI, which is what I suspect, I expect to see with the engine off. So that confirms it's a bad, um, that oil pressure sensor. So I'm gonna put this back in and I'm gonna now I'm gonna install the sensor, it should take care of it. 